I'm looking for a car that is dependable, as well as good looking, that has great miles per gallon, and can zip around corners with nimble agility and speed. And it needs to be reasonably priced. So basically, the car salesman says, you want a miracle car. Well, who says you can't have a little bit of everything? Enter Corolla. Introduced in 1966, the Japanese-made Corolla was the best-selling car worldwide by 1974 and has been one of the best-selling cars in the world since then. Can we just stop for a second and look at how cool this car is? I mean, who else wants a 1966 Corolla now? I do. Anyway, in 1997, the Corolla became the best-selling nameplate in the world, surpassing the Volkswagen Beetle. With over 12 generations and 50 million cars sold worldwide, the Toyota Corolla has earned its place in automotive history. Early models were mostly rear-wheel drive, while later models have been front-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive versions have also been produced, and it has undergone several major redesigns. And the latest generation is by far the snazziest. And if you're wondering if snazzy is an actual word, it is. It means stylish and attractive, like the Corolla. So here's the lineup. You got the base model L, starting at 20400 Then you step up to the LE for a few hundred bucks more at 20800 Basically, it gets you a few things like 16-inch wheels, nicer fabric seats, standard, and a cup-holding armrest in the back seat. Coming up next is the hybrid LE at 24050 This is the main one people are going to get. It's the hybrid Corolla. And if you drive for a living, stop here. This is the one you need. Then you step up to the SE at 228. Now, if you want entry level, but still look super duper radical, you gotta get yourself an SE Nightshade Edition, which is something that Toyota has been offering across its models for the past few years. Say it's dark outside and you want someone to hear you're coming, but then you're nowhere to be found. And they're all like, whoa, that doesn't make sense. I thought I heard a car, but I don't see anything on this pitch black night road I'm walking on. Well, the Nightshade's for you. Moving on, you now have the top levels, the XLE at 24.8 and the XSE starting at 26.3. Somewhere in there, they also have their Apex editions, which is supposed to be the Turn More Heads edition, but it's basically some engine tweaks and performance boosts. There's the SE Apex edition with a starting price of around 25.570, and then you can step up to the XSE Apex edition at 28K. There's also a hatchback series that ranges from 21K up to 25K as well as there is the GR Racing line. If you want to know more about the GR series or Gazoo Racing series, and just how much speed they don't need to put in Corollas, look it up. It's very cool. With the majority of Corollas powered by a dynamic force 2.0 liter four-cylinder engine, the 2022 is both powerful and efficient, generating 169 horsepower and using a standard continuously variable automatic transmission to turn the front wheels. The 2022 Corolla returns an EPA estimated 38 miles per gallon on the highway. And with options like a moonroof, leather wrapped steering wheel, 18 inch wheels, sport exhaust, a spoiler edition, and even a manual shifter. That's right, a stick shift. I mean, with your eyes closed, you may just feel like you're behind the wheel of an Italian sports car. And when you hit that curb because your eyes are closed, you'll be able to afford to fix the car because, well, you're saving a ton of money. It's a win-win. To sum it all up, you gotta look at it like this. The compact car market has really caught up with the mid-range luxury vehicle market due to engine advancements and interior technology. There's really not that much lacking when you get a higher trim Corolla versus an entry-level A-Class or another shiny European thing. And keep in mind, the Japanese are known for holding onto their heritage, for creating vigorously strong structures from bare earth, for making tiny little trees that are the same age as trees that are hundreds of feet tall, and for eating raw fish for centuries and not getting sick. They know what they're doing. And you do too, if you're thinking of getting a Corolla. 